Welcome to this tutorial teaching how to do video editing with DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to open up Resolve right now. So I'm running this on Windows 10. If you don't already have DaVinci Resolve, you can download it for free. I'll include the link in the description of this video. And um, it's a free video editor for Windows, Linux, and Mac. And there's an optional paid version that has uh, added functionality. But the free version is very full featured. It doesn't have a watermark or anything. It's just a great free software that you should definitely get familiar with. It's one of the few non-open source programs that I recommend people get familiar with. So it is not open source. It's closed proprietary software, but it's great software. And there's a free version, which is what we're using here. This is DaVinci Resolve 15. And when you first open it up, it shows the projects here you can choose from. So I can, you can go a new project down here at the bottom, or you can go to open an existing project, or just double click on any of the projects displayed. I'll double click this untitled project. And let me just resize the screen real quick here, or the uh, window. Um, when you first open it up, you're going to be looking at, well, you might be on the edit tab like I am. There's different tabs across the bottom that toggle the workspace that you're in. So if we click on this one to the far left, it's called media. This is where we work with all our different media sources. Maybe you have an SD card and a server and multiple cameras. This is where you can kind of organize and make sense of all that. The next tab is the edit tab, which is what we're going to be spending almost all of our time in in this tutorial series. This is where we actually edit the video so we can drag and drop into our media pool and we can have our video here and then we can drag and drop the actual video to the timeline and then we can edit it around here in the timeline. We can play it back and watch it and see how the video looks. So this should look pretty familiar to you if you've used um, Caden Live or OpenShot or Shotcut or Premiere or any other video editing software. Very similar. We have a timeline at the bottom. We have our media pool and then we'll have different options that we can look at in the future for uh, modifying and edit this. We have tools. In this video we're not going to do much editing. We'll do that in the next video. I want to show you the rest of the interface and how to set up some of the project settings. So the next tab here is Fusion and this is a uh, node-based compositing uh, editor. It's sort of like Natron um, and Nuke and it's just a really good, uh, it's like an alternative to uh, Adobe After Effects as well. So you can do compositing. We're not going to touch any on this in this tutorial series, but maybe to look for a future ser uh, series looking at this. The next tab here is color grading. This lets us modify the colors of the video here. Uh, so we can change and do some color, color grading and do some like white adjustment. We're not going to do anything with this as well. Um, but it's one of the most powerful um, features of DaVinci Resolve, in my opinion, and it's I think it's I think you should uh, it's the, it's the reason to get people using um, Resolve. It's the one feature that Resolve has that you're not going to find nearly as good in any other software, in my opinion. The next tab here is uh, Fairlight, is what it's called. So this is for audio, uh, audio editing as well. It's going to be like uh, similar to your Adobe Audition. So you can do all your audio editing in here. And again, it's all linked. All of these are linked together. So if you're working on a project here, you can edit the audio over here, edit the lighting here, edit some of the compositing and uh, special effects on this tab. And then the final tab we have is the deliver tab. So this is going to be where we actually choose where it's getting saved on the computer and some of the settings for the encoding of the video and audio and the quality um, to actually export this video. Looks like there's a setting here. You can just um, render it for YouTube or Vimeo or some different options as well. So we're going to be spending a lot of our time on the edit tab and on a little bit on the deliver tab. And that's all for this series. So it's not a full featured um, series um, of using DaVinci Resolve. Uh, instead, it's actually just going to be looking at video editing in DaVinci Resolve. And before I wrap up this video, I just want to show you some of the settings. So if you notice, when I actually um, brought in the video clip, I don't know if it'll do it again for me. It brought up a, uh, let's see if I can find a video that's, I guess I can't. <laughs> it brought up an option and said, do you want to, uh, to the video clip I've imported was different than my project setting. And so I clicked change. And so that might happen for you too. But if you want to manually change the, uh, your settings, you can click on file and go to project settings. And it brings up this uh, dialog window here. These are some of the settings that you can adjust. So this is for the timeline and the video monitoring. There's also presets here. You can create your own or you can have a preset for certain settings uh, for video you're working on. But just be aware of some of these. There's quite a bit in here um, and you don't need to know 
Uh, you can leave most of it by, by default. Um, Resolve will take care of a lot of it for you. But just be aware if you ever want to change some settings, um, you can get to it by going to File and uh, Project Settings. And also Project Manager brings back up this screen here that we were at. If you want to switch projects um, or create a new project. And um, under DaVinci Resolve, there's also Preferences. So to the left of File, it just says DaVinci Resolve. Go into Preferences. And here's where you can set up if you have an external hard drive, you want to add some media storage, or maybe you have um, a network drive. Um, you can also configure some of the memory and graphics options for your computer. But mostly you'll just want to use media storage. Um, it's the only thing you probably want to change in here if you're trying to access um, video footage. But again, that's kind of more set up for if you're working in a studio environment and, if, and you want to use this media tab because you can actually just drag and drop in right here and just staying in this edit tab you really wouldn't need to mess with any of that from the media pool if you didn't want to so i'm trying to uh, keep this as as simple as possible there's a whole lot you can get involved in in this software and so for, um, for now let's just try and keep it as simple as possible let's hop over to the next video and we'll learn a lot more about this edit tab and we'll go over all the different parts and tools and actually cut up some video and make a little video project so thank you for watching and catch you in the next video